Oh boy, what a game that was. And of course, we'll um we'll talk about the game in more detail a little later on in our post-game thoughts video. But um Marcus Peters. Marcus Peters, he was very, very heated uh toward the end of the game. And I remember watching it live. I see Marcus Peters just yelling, screaming, super upset, frustrated, angry, all that good stuff. And I'm I'm trying to look at different angles. I'm like, man, who who is he yelling at? Who is he frustrated with? Who is he talking to? Because I just couldn't see it. Uh, but then it came out that he was all of those emotions to John Harbaugh, the Ravens head coach. And it got me worried. It really did. Um, and please, let me know. Because I know it's football is very emotional. It's a very emotional sport. Um, a lot of emotion is involved with it there's a lot of feelings uh when it's live when things are happening because things happen so fast um so i get that but marcus peter's frustration with hardball just to me it seemed a bit different because first when, when is the last time that this happened because i was really trying to think and i could not remember off the top of my head when the last time a player not an, not a, a player on another team but a player on the baltimore ravens when is the last time that a player really went off on John Harbaugh like that? Because I, I really don't remember. And please, if y'all remember, let me know. Because I know y'all got much better memories than me. But he was like really hot. And not, not, not a player being upset at a, at a coordinator. But a player being upset like that at the head coach. When, when's the last time that happened? So it, it just got me to thinking. And then I started wondering like, man, what was Marcus Peters upset about initially i was thinking okay well maybe marcus peters was just thinking ahead especially for what the situation was maybe he was thinking all right well why why didn't we let them score why didn't we just let them score we had two timeouts left it ain't like we could stop the clock uh and why won't we just let them score so lamar jackson and offense they could have a chance to go tie it in overtime so why, why didn't we just let him? But then it came out that John Harbaugh said the call was made to let the Bills score on uh, Devin Singletary's eight-yard run uh, when there was 150 left in the fourth quarter. But Adafi away, he tackled Singletary at the three-yard line. Uh, away said his understanding was the call was either to let them score or go for the strip. And he went for the strip. So, <laughs> would Marcus Peters be upset with Harbaugh about that? I don't think so. Then I thought, well, maybe could he have been upset that Harbaugh didn't take the points? Could that be the reason? Um, so, for that, no clue. No clue what he was upset about, but he was frustrated nonetheless. Now, Harbaugh commented on Marcus Peters. He said... Um, emotions run high. We're on the same page, he and I. Okay, so Harbaugh is a little Dr. Seuss, a little rhyming there. But anyway, he said, emotions run high. We're on the same page, he and I. We got a great relationship. We got an honest relationship. I love him. I hope he still loves me. We'll see. But I'm a Marcus Peters guy. So you see that? Hold up. Let me find out Harbaugh used to be in battle rap before. Because Harbaugh, sometimes he'd be spitting that again. Emotions run high. We're on the same page, he and I. We got a great relationship. We got an honest relationship. I love him. I hope he still loves me. We'll see. But I'm a Marcus Peters guy. All right, now, Hobbs, I know everybody upset with you right now, but hey, you said something with that one. But anyway, um, so Harbaugh is just trying to clear up stuff that him and Marcus Peters, they're good. But one thing that worries me, and again, let y'all please let me know if you feel like I'm overthinking the situation i'm overreacting to the situation and i'm thinking too much into it because again I, I know football is very emotional things happen at the spur of the moment and, and it is a very intense intense game um but this just what well, what i just saw what we just saw with marcus peters going at hardball like that it worries me for the future both the short and the long-term future of marcus peters with the baltimore ravens now before the season even started 
Um, there was some concern on my end for Marcus Peters' long-term future with the Baltimore Ravens after this year um, because he's on the last year of his deal, um, and especially with them looking to, uh, to, to pay Lamar. We'll see if that happens. I still got my concerns about that, too. But with them uh, looking to pay Lamar, uh, a lot of times you, you make decisions. And even if, even if they weren't looking to pay Lamar, you still make decisions. Uh, for your football team, you got to make decisions for the future, uh, for the current and for the past. Oh, not for the past, but based off of the past and based off of how you feel the future is going to be. But um, I was concerned already that Marcus Peters may not be a Raven for the long term future. Maybe not past this year. I would love him to be. Um, but I, I love Marcus Peters, man. I love his energy. I love just his attitude, his demeanor. Uh, he will let you know exactly how he feels. He will be straight up forward with you, straight up with you. And I always appreciate people like that extra. Like, I, they, uh, cause I, I just love straightforwardness. Um, but I, I just, I wonder if Hobbs will consider uh, trading Marcus Peters. Now, I hope not. I, I would hope that the front office would not do something like that. I hope that they wouldn't. Um, and I hope that the coaching staff, they, they wouldn't feel like Marcus Peters uh, was not. Um, good for their, their short-term plans this year. Because, I mean, Marcus Peters is obviously the second-best corner on your team. Uh, but we have seen it before where players, where they fall out of favor. And, again, not saying that he fell out of favor with Harbaugh. Uh, well, maybe <laughs> Harbaugh fell out of favor with him. Um, but we've seen it before to where even the, the, the highest uh, profile players on the team uh, if they fall out of favor with the, the team, the coaching staff, uh, then they get traded. They can get traded. Whether they request a trade or whether the team, the coaching staff just decides, you know what, it's better for us to move on. Now, in my opinion, that would be a, a, a bad, bad decision. But, I mean, <laughs> we did see the coaching staff make some bad decisions today, didn't we? Um, so it wouldn't be their first uh, but again, I also wonder too if with with Marcus Peters' frustration, it just reminded me of the whole Chuck Clark and Earl Thomas thing. Um, they obviously had their issues, and they were like, "Oh man, Earl Thomas, he swung on Chuck Clark. They got into a little training camp, a practice fight, da 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 da." And but that that's that punch. It wasn't out of nowhere. Chuck Clark, his frustration with Earl Thomas, it wasn't out of nowhere. It didn't, it didn't just come out the blue like, all right, one, one day on practice, we fighting. No. This was something that was built up. It was built up frustration. Hey, man, this dude, Earl Thomas, he keeps doing his own thing. The defense, we saying A, but Earl Thomas is out here doing B and C. Man, he keeps on doing that over and over. Why? What's going on? Hey, you need to be in unison with us. Stop freelancing, man. Stop doing what you're doing. Even though you're a Hall of Famer and whatever. But stop doing what you're doing. Do what we're doing. And it was something that was built up. It was built up frustration between the two. So with this blow up with, with Marcus Peters and, and John Harbaugh, this is not the first time that the Ravens have lost a game. This is not the first time that the Ravens have lost a game due to several poor decisions and, and poor execution too. But this is not the first time that Marcus Peters has been on a, uh, the Ravens team when they've lost. But you've never seen this type of frustration from him before. So I really wonder what it was that sparked it. Um, whatever it was, hopefully it's not enough to where he ends up getting moved, getting shipped off. Or end up even requesting it. And again, y'all let me know if I think I'm thinking too deep into it or whatnot. I just, I just feel like this is such... Strange territory uh, for the Ravens and for Harbaugh to be in. Because I just, I'm not used to seeing players come at him like that. And I feel like <laughs> I saw so many Ravens fans, but before they even knew what it was, they were like, hey, we agree with Marcus Peters. We with Marcus Peters. We support Marcus Peters. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how it goes, man. Anyway, appreciate y'all. The, um, this, uh, the presser tomorrow <laughs> should be really fun. Love y'all, appreciate y'all, and hopefully, like Marcus Peters, won't be 
anytime soon. I'm out.